you say okay sir good sir yes sir right because the power very light exercise of power very light exercise of power and in the last class we discussed state right and different uh, variety of state in the last few classes we talked about the concept of a state different perspective of state and how that different perspective was there in the developing society like europe yeah. and we also discussed the concept of state in developing society now one has asked deep state savinder right uh, deep state have you gone through that what is your understanding of deep state pad lijiyega zarurat nahi hai deep state is basically informal network within the government which works in the government right along you know with with the help of bureaucracy with the help of military with the help of other institution but they don't have accountability right like for example uh, the rss working with the bureaucracy in india or in turkey there are many uh, you know organization which will work with the government of turkey which has no which has no responsibility which has no accountability but it has lots of power hmm that is deep state deep state is basically you can say that a shadow state which is not a state basically chalo let me discuss the concept of power concept of power in political theory now have you uh, heard about the word power everyone have you heard the word power what does it mean power how you call someone you are very powerful power is politics and politics is power okay ability to influence other it has different meaning you know someone says power is currency of politics if you look at power very power is very necessary in politics like currency is very necessary money is very necessary in market similarly power is very much necessary in politics right but it's not that only there are you know there is a meaning of power beyond the politics it does not mean those who are not in politics does not exercise power right so you have also argued that power is a currency of politics right it is very essential now someone has you have argued that power is something like ability to produce effect or capacity to produce effect for example if you look at electricity we say that we don't have power there is a power cut generally we say in our everyday life there is a power cut right or power has come what do you mean by power has come when you see the effect effectiveness of the electricity like your ac start working your laptop over starts working right your maybe mobile is being charged then you can say power has come yes power is getting so power is ability to capacity to produce effect or or in social life when when a leader says something and the follower accept it right or someone phone it right for example a local mla phone to the school authority for admission of someone some kid right or the mla phone to the any medical uh, medical 
uh, center right hospitals he okay admit this person now if you look at the mla produces a fact that is called power now every relationship is a relationship of power right every relationship relationship is a relationship of power now why do we study this concept power right someone has said it is a dominating force but of course if you look at power power is a central theme in politics right and the power is very contested if you look at if we say that what is power there are different concept what is power right there is no single definition there are multiple multiple definition of power and if you look at in politics we study power right in order to study you know the how relationship operates relationship between a state and their citizen right relationship among individual relationship between you know husband and wife you know or the relationship between brother or sister or between two brothers and if you look at the essentiality of study someone said politics is nothing but of the study of shaping you know shaping power right now if you look at there is one book and book name is power and society by Harold Laswell and K Kaplan who talked about that power in political science right we what we do basically we study the how power is shared how power is shared in society so basically the concept of power is very essential for the political philosopher even if you look at the plato you know plato what plato talks about the plato talks about the power of the the wise person the you know if you look at wise person or wisdom plato talked about you know those person who have you know rational mind right rational mind who are actually striving for wisdom right has power or authority to rule now if you look at he talked about the power of the rationality the power of the wisdom power of the prudence they have to rule right for example right the, his uh, ruling class the guardian class later on if you look at the concept of power has defined by other scholar for example you know thomas hobbes who argued that right all mankind are in a relentless all mankind are in relentless desire for power and that power after power and that desire sees into that if you look at machiavelli 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 defined power in terms of politics he said politics is nothing but a struggle for power how he defined politics politics is a struggle for power struggle yeah politics is a struggle for power now if you look at even you know that concept was applied in terms of international relation right there is a one scholar hans margenthau who wrote a book called you know pub you know politics among nations and he defined international politics and he said international politics is nothing but a struggle for power right so power has been remain very central to the analysis of political philosopher right but if in general meaning if we define power you know power in general meaning in very a uh, very simple term that we can say that power is a you know position of control position of authority or influence over others or capacity to produce effect right 
Now this is not us. This is a very much simple, a simple analysis, right? The power is, power is you know, power is is capacity to control, right? So someone may and it has many dimensions. For example, someone may have economic power. Some may, someone may have economic resources. Now, how economic resources, you know, used as a power, or if someone has religious influence, if someone has religious influence, they exercise, you know, power over the people. Or, for example, someone may have political power. Here, political power means, you know, possessing legitimate authority. So, political power means possessing legitimate authority. So, if you look at, there are different dimensions of power. Economic dimensions, religious dimensions, political dimensions. Administrative dimensions, administrative power, right? Or for example, someone have persuasive power, persuasive, right? Persuasive power. Power. Right. So if you look at, there are different domain dimensions of power, right? Now, so we can analyze the power is not a simple, power has not a simple meaning, right? Power has different meaning, right? Am I making some, some sense to you and in understanding the concept of power? Now, if you look at this concept has been explained by many philosophers, many philosophers. For example, we'll talk about first, you know, a two dimension of power that is called power over. So we will talk about, you know, the different dimension of power. We'll talk about different dimensions of power. And then, right, then we will analyze what pluralists understand power, right? Pluralist understanding of power. Then we shall study, you know, the elitist understanding power. How elitist? Elitist concept of power. How certain scholars believe that the elitist always carry power. So that we will talk about elitist understanding of power. And then we'll talk about, you know, the Stephen Lee, Marxist, what Marx understand, Marxist understanding of power. Marxist understanding of power. Right. And then we'll talk about. There is one scholar who talked about power very extensively, and he published a book in 1974. His name is Stephen Lewis. So he actually uh, redefined power, and he talked about you know three dimensions of power. So we'll talk about Stephen Lewis' idea. Lewis' understanding of power. Right. And then after understanding this, we'll talk about Foucault. Foucault who analyzed power in very great detail. Right? What Foucault? Then we'll talk about 
next how nietzsche nietzsche also talked about the power right so we will talk about nietzsche understanding of power nietzsche understanding of power so foucault nietzsche steven lukes right and then we'll talk about the authority different kinds of authority what is the meaning of legitimacy how ideology becomes a power right so that we will study in few classes today tomorrow and in this week yeah three or four classes will take up on the understanding of power that we are going to discuss right so this is a very much a short introductions the how we are going to do this concept deal with this concept am i clear till now yes everyone harika lal janis and everyone yeah clear now theek hai chalo so now i will start the class proper class let me try to understand the robert dull right the first i discussed power the how power is a very essentially contested concept contested concept means there is no one meaning of power there are several meaning of power and that's why power is called is you know essentially contested concept concept very is contested concept there is no one definition there are multiple definition of power now let me talk about one concept that is called power over the first concept that we will talk about the concept of power over what is the concept of power over right basically it means you know few philosopher talked about this understanding like robert dull robert dull was a great philosopher who studied you know power in usa and he talked about that power has certain domination right for example if a and b if there are two person a and b right so how we can say that a is exercising power over b he said a has power over b a has power over b to the extent that a can get b to do something otherwise b would not do Say for example, you and your brother. How you can say that? How power operates between you? So you can get things done by your brother, right? Otherwise, brother will not do. For example, if you ask me, okay, give me your uh, mobile phone. If he gives you mobile phone without resisting, then you can say that you have power over. your brother otherwise he will resist for example if you are watching television and if you ask for remote right ki okay mujhe remote de do chalo mujhe remote de do aur usne aapko de diya bina kuch kahe hue to hum kahenge then we will say that you have power over your brother or if you say that your brother if brother your brother says ki aap mujhe ye de do aapne de diya it is nothing but it is a exercise of power am i making sense to you the a has power over b to the extent that b done 
for B, A, without anything. Otherwise, he will not do. See, why he is doing B, uh, why B is doing? Because the power is exercised. Hi, Sahil. All good. Right? So, we can say that A, A has power over B to the extent that A get thing done by B. Otherwise, B would not do. So, but it can be, uh, someone has uh, said, Sahil, that sir, it can be due to the other region. Also, like giving remote, I will give you chocolate. Yeah, so that is exchange of power. Yes, Sahil. Right? Yes. If there is exchange, then yes, yeah, that is also power, no? For example, if you say that, you know, when I ask you, how are you? You said, good, sir. Why do you say the good, sir? You may show nothing. You may re respond nothing. You say, okay, sir, good, sir, yes, sir. Right? Because the power, very light exercise of power, very light exercise of power. Right? Yeah. Uh, respect is also power, no? See, the teacher, the teacher and the student, there is a relationship between teacher and the student. You say respect, but political science scientists will say it is a power. What teacher exercises over their students. For example, a teacher say that, okay, write, and you start writing. If I say to you to write this sentence, sentence and you start writing it is an exercise of power the teacher exercises power over the student or the parent exercises power over their children this is a one notion of power am i making sense right sahil especially to you yeah so you give different name, but political scientists will say that no, there is a power that is being exercised. There is a power in operation. Power in operation. So if you look at here, the Robert Dull understanding of power. First conclusion we can say, if I respect someone from my side, this is also power, na? For example, there is a Chandrasa, you, you are, you know, Chandrasa, I'm writing C. And there is a religious guru. Religious guru. And you have respect. Okay. Religious guru did not say anything to you. You never met that religious guru. Right? And you go, go and in front of his, you know, photograph. And then you walk. Right? So basically, that religious guru exercises power over you. Yeah, it is a term as a soft power. Soft power is exercise, you know, used in terms of international relations. We'll talk about it's a very it's a very power, very indirectly power. Chandra sir. Right? So if you look at first understanding, A has power over 2 over B to the extent that A get thing done by B, otherwise B would not do. Because that power exercise is happening because power is being exercised and that work is done and works get done because of the power. So first, you know, we can analyze the Robert Dahl understanding of power is you know the power is an attribute of individual power is an attribute of an individual that means one individual exercise power over the other any individual it may be the religious guru maybe parent maybe teacher maybe brother maybe sister maybe police any anyone Secondly, power means domination, right? Power is domination of over the other. Power means 
domination over other iska ye matlab hua right it is also called one dimensional power or one dimensional concept of power right it is also called one dimensional form of power when power is exercised by one individual over the other right but if you look at you know power is not an attribute to of an individual only we can criticize in uh, robert dull right ki power is not an attrib- attribute of only individual collective also exercise power right the collective also exercises power collective also exercise exercises power for example so ye to individual hua ye analysis hua robert dell ka yahan par it's not power is exercised by only individual collective also exercise power collective means group group also exercise power right for example if i give you example for example right you know uh, burjwa ji burjwa ji also exercise you know exercises power power over the working class in marx stuff right or the khap panchayat khap panchayat khap panchayat also exercises exercises power over you know individual individuals customs right tradition They, they define and redefine tradition and customs so look at the collective collective also exercises power right power means a domination over the other what is khap panchayat a uh, khap panchayat is a caste panchayat in the haryana it is a caste panchayat in haryana and western up genes right like jat mahasabha right jat panchayat jat jat mahasabha or right especially to use uh, in terms of the one community called jat right especially it is talked in terms of that clear genes right so power is not uh, only individual uh, collective uh, concept power is exercised by collective also for example so if you look at the power over so individual also exercises the power collective also exercises the power so here power means power over the other right and if you look at similarly feminist how feminist analyze the operation of power if you look at feminist how feminist feminist you know examines power feminist examine power right if you look at feminist who are viewed that it is a patriarchy which is exercises power so if you look at feminist you know examines power in terms of a structure in terms of a structure of course again you can see that a similarity between this and the last one for example patriarchy has within the patriarchy there is a power exercise within the caste there is a power exercise the caste structure or the land pattern 
the land holding a structure holding in village also exercises power i'm making sense first panchayat once or uh, more time please yeah yeah we'll do chandra sir caste panchayat is a khab panchayat right basically they are protector of the tradition right they are conservative for example they don't allow inter caste marriage they don't allow you know intra gotra marriage right they they are very consolidated on the name of caste and they resolve many thing along with the tradition right they resolve uh, many disputes within the community any dispute the intra community disputes as well as inter community disputes the caste panchayat has intervened a lot in the haryana politics and western up politics yeah chandra sir did you get the idea khap panchayat is basically a caste caste panchayat caste panchayat right only one community has one mahasabha like jat mahasabha or gujjar mahasabha sir but this opposition if inter caste is against fundamental right yes yes that's fine they don't mind fund fundamental right or yeah that's different right now he my submission is here, here that how a structure itself exercises power right wo baad mein baat karenge ki whether caste you know khap panchayat is doing good or bad or whether it is a against fundamental right or not right but you know if you look at it is not for only one caste the khap panchayat means the traditional panchayat the which who believes in hereditary transfer of power right or the other traditional notion of holding power like village head you must have heard about village head right so if you look at in haryana and uh, western up villages have head and based on the you know and each caste has their own head like jat jat has their own you know village head or or gujjar gujjar has their own village head right so it's not only uh, for one caste there may be for other caste too who believe this he- village head as a hereditary hereditary position this is a very much hereditary position right they influence bureaucracy they influence the local panchayat i'm making sense so if you look at the khap panchayat as a group right they exercise of power over the other theek hai similarly if you look at families families examines that you know certain structure itself exercises power lekin like, like for example within patriarchy there is a power power operation power between man and woman within a caste system there is a power nobody does nothing but power already operate hota hai power already operates between two individual if they are from you know in the caste different caste or for example if the land holding of individual is larger anyway so basically a uh, power over is you know power over means domination power over means domination over other right 
it may be individuals dom domination over or it may be collective one i'm making sense remember we had initiated to discuss the concept of power over we had initiated discussion between concept of power over so power over is a uh, refers to how power operates in society right and how one individual controls other individual or how how one collective one group dominant remain dominant over the other or how you know even the structure exercises power like patriarchy like caste like land holding within the village right if you look at the village who has more power of course those who have more land holding do you know this thing this fact because because of the economic resources hota hai ye even among the you know friends those who have more economic contribution among the friends right jada usko log jada maan lete hain mante hai ki nahi mante lal genes do we follow ki nahi jo those who have a more affluent a more uh, economic resources people generally maan lete theek hai chalo tum bol rahe ho to theek kare why is it so why because there is a you know power over there is a domination it has dominant position generally it happens yeah generally in colleges everywhere everywhere in your social life right like colleges schools friends right ghar mein nahi hota kya agar paisa koi kama raha hai na for example the a and b is two brother but b is earning a lot and a is not earning i can say that b has power over b a hota hai within a family relationship or for example you know uh, a man so man ko to man has power over woman because of one thing that is patriarchy but man has power over b if man owns more than woman but consider woman earn more consider woman earns 2 lakh per month example de raha hu and man earn only 25000 per month who will have more power in terms of economy in this case man or woman thanks this situation would be the alok maria then she does not need man it does not happen see aisa nahi hota hai paisa hone se man woman ki zarurat nahi padti chandra sa it it's, it's not like that if you know man earns a lot he doesn't not woman if woman does not have earn or woman earns a lot if she does not man it doesn't happen you have seen many women chandra sa but not many that is few count it there are population women population 50% of human population are you know approximately 48 48% 49% are women i have many fewal cases against man hota hai wo baat alag hai but is case mein batao kaun power exercise karega women karegi in terms of economy yes anupama agree that women may have more power over a because of this economic because of this economic but due to patriarchy who will have more power in this this relationship but due to patriarchy let me tell due to patriarchy due to patriarchy who will have power the man or woman in this case 
due to economy women have may have more say that is more domination but due to patriarchy yeah due to patriarchy men has more power over women so power power over means domination over the other right in terms of in terms of economy in terms of religious influences in terms of sexual right right in terms of right many things patriarchy system is followed where man is economically dominant or our patriarchy dusre jagah pe nahi hota hai tum to sara patriarchy ko concept hi khatam kar doge man and woman i have given you example if woman earn 2 lakh 2 lakh earn a man is earning only for 25000 then due to patriarchy women have more power if woman economically free she is earning more i guess she will be dominant in family no may i am saying maybe dominant due to economy yes women may be dominant due to economic resources but due to patriarchy due to patriarchy yeah the family try to subdue the man will try to subdue on different occasion like occasion when the final decision is taking the decision of selling and buying house right or giving loan to someone right so if you look at or you know for example uh, about you know how many baby would be there in the family two or three it may be that man may decide or who will go outside and meet other man who will go to the public sphere right the public sphere may be represented by man isn't it lal tavinder you are not speaking today it may be that man may dominate the public sphere not the one because of the patriarchy no woman goes in the public sphere woman you know it's not that woman does not go but public sphere is dominated by man panchayat panchayat hoga kahin par to kon jayega man jayega or or my, एक एग्जांपल होता है कि मान लो कि अगर पेट्रियाटी का मैं अदर अलग और हाई डेफिनेशन देता हूं कि कंसीडर यू नो हु पेरेंट अगर कोई उसके घर में मरता है तो आग कौन देगा मैन देगा द मैन विल लिट द पायरे Jenny said, "My opinion is this because of I have seen many situations in my relative and friends. That, uh, but that is our few household Jennys. In general, of course, women dominate may dominate because of the dominant economic position. Panchayat pati is a such example of patriarchy. Yes, Savinder, you are right. Panchayat pati, right?" और पंचायत पुत्र प्रधानपति और प्रधान पुत्र द सन एक्सरसाइज इज पावर एनीवे तो वी हैड वी हैव यू नो एक्चुअली डिफाइंड व्हाट इज पावर ओवर पावर ओवर इज रेफर्स टू यू नो डोमिनेशन राइट वन ग्रुप में हैव डोमिनेंट ओवर द अनदर ग्रुप one person may have dominate dominating to the other group what the idea power over power over ka matlab pata chala ki power over refers to domination of either individual or collective over the other samajh mein aaya power over means domination so this domination of individual one individual over the other or one group over the other group 
Am I clear this concept? Power over. Hmm? Right? Now, who are the exponent of power over? Exponents con hai? For example, Robert Dull. Robert Dull is the exponent of the power over. Right? Then if you look at Marx, Marx is also exponent, like all feminists are basically feminists also understand this meaning, right? Feminist is a, are the example of definition of power over. Now if you look at this understanding of power over is a limited understanding. Why is it so? Power over means domination. Domination means, what do you mean by domination? It means someone's exploitation, someone's suppression, right? Lightly or, or gravely, that is a different matter. Domination means, you know, oppression. Isn't it? Like, you know, in patriarchy, women are oppressed. In caste system, you know, the civil caste are oppressed. Right? So, this is very negative understanding, you know, the negative or pejorative understanding of power. There are another concept that is called power two. This is power over. Now, I'll talk about power two concept. The concept of power two. There are many uh, author who criticizes the understanding of power over, and they argue that power is not only means domination. Power does not mean only the operations, right? It is not always in pejorative sense. It is not always exploitative. Now. Power to refers to enhancing capacity or enabling an individual, right? Power to refers to enhancing capacity, right? Or enabling, enabling person or group. So it's not that always power has operations. The power results in operation. Power is, has something, you know, called enabling effect, right? Or power has, you know, enhancing capacity effect. For example, let me give you an example. Giving education to someone. For example, Giving education to someone. If you look at education, education has enabling effect. Enabling effect. If you have educated, you can understand the society, you can, you know, live your life good. I, you know, Plato had also argued that education is very important to live a good life, to happy life, to prosperous life. Right? So, for example, health. Health has enabling effect. Right? For example, money in the hand of poor, it has enabling effect. Right? Money in the hand of in hand of you know, poor, it has enabling effect, may have enabling effect. Enabling effect, right? So, if you look at education, health, you know, uh, a quality education enhances individual capacity or capability.
right so here what do you mean by power to power to means you know power is not always domination power is not always you know very much ex- oppressive or exploitative power has on the other hand enabling a fact right for example giving reservation to a uh, scst or a woman that may enhance the power of women that may enhance the power of scst or any good policy for the persons with disability they may have enabling effect am i making sense to you everyone the concept of power over right the power over refers to right the enhancing capacity or enabling effect and here there is no domination here is some kind of you can say it gives freedom if you look at power to power to understanding gives power right it gives you know refers to to giving freedom true freedom to freedom you know to individual or group that is a power to right power like a money if you look at if you have money then you can lead to the develop you know you can buy many thing in the market similarly if you have power you can enhance your develop yeah self the level of self it leads leads to self development correctly not only sometimes self development but also sometimes development of the community like reservation the reservation has you know enabling effect right power to has always enabling effect right it leads to self development it leads to you know freedom and development so power is not always domination power ka matlab ye nahi hota ki dominant a has power over b no right so power to understanding means like you know you have money and who is exponent exponent is talcott person right talcott person you know defined power in terms of this talcott person right talcott persons so this is exponent of this understanding talcott person then if you look at you know the michael fuko michael fuko michael fuko right jurid butler jurid butler these are the exponent of this understanding of power and they criticize the power over and they analyze a new concept of power that is they argue that power is not always you know means domination that leads to of course operation or the exploitation power has on the other hand enabling a fact right it leads to freedom of and development of individual of individual or grow for example reservation reservation if you look at reservation right reservation has such a fact if you look at example reservation how can we define reservation in terms of power it has power to it is a power to it does not mean right or health education 
or entire the human development concept human development concept that the human resource so we should capacity enhance the capacity so power is not always a domination but power also leads to enabling effect self development right development of the personality living a good life am i making sense to you to understand the power to how power to is different from the power over let me give you a question distinguish the concept of power over with the concept of power to power to so this is one question that you have to right how many of you had you did not get this concept i have talked about the concept of power over and i have talked about the concept of power to there are two concept which i have discussed yet yeah clear everyone i hope it's clear understood very good very good now third and uh, concept is called power with power but so we have seen power over power over is means domination then we have seen power to power to means enabling effect its its outcome is very bad not uh, you know it exploited you its outcome is good if you look at outcome outcome is good here power over ka jo outcome hai na result net result wo thoda problematic hai but yes that is a different that is understanding and that operates both you know notion of power operates in society now come to the concept of power with right now this power with this concept was developed by han arend this concept of power is developed this concept this this concept of power is developed by by hanay pehla chip ke hanay rent actually is the exponent of the power with now how she she analyzes power now if you look at hitler the hitler's power was power over or power to hitler's power what was hitler's power power over or power to what was the concept yeah very good very good it was a power over yeah hitler's power is can be examined as a power over power over right because it net result is very much exploitative operations right now in contrast with the power over right the hanna arent basically examined the concept of power with right if you look at hitler has a very much control over the germany and that's why hitler has power over right now what is if you look at power over power over is means controlling someone dominating someone right maybe light or very dense that is a different matter but it is very much dominating now if you look at hanna arent 
Hannah Arendt is talked about ki power you know is not a property of an individual right power is not a property of an individual it belongs to group right and remains existent only with the group so long that it this power keeps everyone together this power keeps everyone united together like harmony power always harmony always needs collaboration among citizen among citizens power always you know needs mutual respect trust and cooperation the participation and influencing collective to the government if you look at what happens when we remain collective right and we collaborate and we coordinate each other and then we check power power of a individual so that they cannot become totalitarians right so the concept of power with refers to when power resides in collective as long as that power unite this group the society enhance cooperation among each other develop mutual respect trust right and they influence the government for example look at gandhi's satyagraha gandhi's satyagraha i hope you have heard about gandhi's satyagraha yeah anyone satyagraha means satya and agraha right right i hope you have heard about satyagraha it means you know appealing to the government on the basis of truth truth and non violence yeah very good truth and non violence truth and non violence now when you see that truth and non violence now if you look at gandhi led several movement during the freedom struggle and he had a great mass support he had very much mass support mass was in favor of gandhi so you can say the mass is collective who was influencing the british government for the common good to check that british cannot do injustice right here power lie in a collective masses along with the gandhi right and which checks the power of the dominant individual right or totalitarians or unjust authority samajh mein aaya kuch right right now this concept was developed by anti power there was one scholar who said you know who said anti power anti power is also like power with what is anti power generally power lie in hand of the government power lies in the government isn't it power lies in the government now what is anti power anti power means a network of people anti power means a net work of people of people that keep checks on the government that keep check on power over of the government yani power dominant dominant of the government now look at gandhi gandhi satyagraha satyagraha what was satyagraha satyagraha was basically it was a network right it was a, a collective collective right 
for mutual trust mutual cooperation right identifying or identifying everyone equal and remaining together with harmony but checking the government power right this term anti power was given by john holloway holloway and he talked about similarly like you know the power weight power weight power weight means a power vested in collective as long as the collective is you know united based on harmony must have mutual respect for each other must do dialogue discussion and deliberation and influence the power of the government am i making sense to you the power with the gandhi's notion of power was the power with the hanna arent notion of power is a power with the anti power concept defined by john holloway is a concept of power with samajh mein aaya no what did you get the idea very good very good if you get the idea then it's my you know i'm happy so sure. so power weight is a you know power weight means power you know is in collective in a group as long as the power you know group maintains harmony they the aisa nahi ki one group becomes dominant over the other groups like patriarchy patriarchy does not fall under this power weight you can say that patriarchy yes, male is also community where power is very much vested but power is vested to exploit women you cannot you say that this is a power weight this is not power right for example if you look at the power means violence someone say that power means violence yes if you look at hitler are bhaiya hitler he had done lots of violence right but the concept power with believe in non violence if you look at government is a concentrated form of violence look at hitler look at the police look at the military this is very concentrated form of violence have you seen police beating you know beating constantly to the protesters when protesters try to influence the government you know try to influence the government policy and do protest in order to do so i hope you have seen many like for for example farmers protest or sometimes women protest women wrestlers who are doing protest in new delhi i hope you are aware of this fact right so if you look at power over power over means violence but power with believe in non violence right so again i'm again redefining power with i'm again redefining the concept of power with power with no power what i told you that this concept was developed by han waren and apart from han waren the gandhi's notion of power will fall under this category power what and you know john holloway holloway also believe in this this you know concept and they argue that power is a not a property of individual like hitler or like stalin or you know any ruler power lie in individual as long as this group you know is based on harmony self respect and trust they deliberate they discuss right the everyday issue of the government and they try to influence the government they try to check the government so that government cannot do injustice government cannot you know do violence am i making sense power weight refers to yeah refers to power weight refers to 
power vested in agro or collective like so civil society like civil society power is a power wealth so civil power wealth refers to power vested in a group or collective right as long as as it is based on mutual cooperation mutual cooperation harmony harmony right self respect self respect right right and this collective keeps checks keeps check the government right this checks check the keeps check on on uh, check on the government on the government generally government is a concentrated notion of wealth concentrated form of wealth or individuals power when individuals acquire much more power they become wealth right they become wealth right so power refers to power with refers to the power vested in a collective group as long as it is based on mutual cooperation harmony self respect and this collective keeps check on the government this collective is very much participatory this collective believes in this collective believes in debate and discussion Right. Along with participation of all, or participation of all on equal term, equal term. Hmm. Did it make sense to you, everyone? The power concept of power with, right? Now this concept of power, basically, you know, analyzed by the Hannah Arendt. I, I, I told you that Hannah Arendt has actually analyzed this concept of power. Now, if you look at her concept of power. what she analyzes that power must be vested in the concept right and in that collective everyone should be equal everyone should deliberate discuss participate and check government otherwise government becomes a powerful right a become you know a position of power look like hitler hitler becomes power because the society become powerless powerlessness right and they felt powerlessness how hitler did violence because power actually concentrated in the hand of the hitler right if you look at hannah arendt so i talked about hannah arendt believed in and you know that she talked about the how you know we can revive the athenian political culture she was she believed in in athenian political culture
What do you mean by Athenian political culture? Athenian political culture means a community should be based on right. There should be social solidarity. There should be debate, deliberation. You all know that deliberation or deliberative democracy. There should be you know uh, participation, participation, and there should be you know social solidarity. Of course, for the purpose of God, the purpose here, the purpose here is, you know, control the totalitarian regime. Regime. So that was the Hannah Arendt concept. Hannah Arendt was very much critical of violence. Like, you know, Gandhi, she was very much admired of the concept of non-violence, right? If you look at Gandhi, what Gandhi said, violence is a, violence is a uh, attribute of, domina- uh, of the powerful or powerlessness. Tell me, if you look at Gandhi, Gandhi said, ki kamjur insan violence karta hai. You know, Gandhi says, violence is an attribute of we. It is an an attribute of the weak. Yeah, it is an instrument, attribute of the weak, violence. Similarly, if you look at, you know, uh, Hannah Arendt, she said, violence is a weak. Violence is an instrument of weak. Violence is an instrument for the weak, right? What a stronger person does, the stronger person believe in non-violence. They believe in becoming political. Political means they must discuss, they must participate and they keep social solidarity among themselves in order to check the individual arbitrary power. Got the idea? The idea of power weight. So I have taught you three idea of power today. I have taught you the concept of power. power over then I had done the concept of power 2 and then I have talked about power what right Achha, ye tino clear hai? yeah the all three are clear all three concepts it means domination Power 2 means enabling effect. Ek word mein kisi ko pata chalega, analysis karni Power with means, you know, social solidarity. Like, if we shall be united, if we shall be united, we'll be more prosperous. Samaj mein aaya? Hmm. Yes, tell me. So, with this, I'll stop here. And in the next class, I'll talk about the elitist theory of power. But elitist theory of power, padne se pehle, हम पढ़ेंगे प्लूरलिस्ट थियरी ऑफ पावर द प्लूरलिस्ट थियरी ऑफ पावर एंड देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट एलिटिस्ट थियरी ऑफ पावर हम या सो आई विल स्टॉप हियर
See you in the next class. Thank you.